Anything else uh, before we move on and talk about medical cannabis? Because I know you want to, Senator Stivers. Uh, this question, comment from Michelle Crawford, who I think you all know who's been in Frankfurt a lot on this issue from Mason County. Uh, she says, quote, medical cannabis passed with over two thirds of the vote in the House last session. Why won't Senator Stivers let the bill come up for an up or down vote in the Senate? Well, I think I've been pretty clear that I truly believe um, that there is some medicinal or therapeutic value to THC, and that's what we're talking about. Um, I was delivered for years, I would say, give me the studies, and I would show you all the studies that were delivered to me, and none. So about two years ago, they delivered those studies, and I read them, every one. And the terminology, statistically significant, um, uh, is is the what they talk about in their studies and there are statistically significant indicators to what I said for spasticity uh, nausea appetite you know those things um, and the realm of joint inflammation so that's there but virtually every study said the duration of the study was too short or the population of the two study was too small and more needed to be done to know effectively how we use something like that. Because we know that under 25, it's adverse to brain development. If you smoke it, it has 50% more carcinogens. And studies show that prolonged exposure have a higher likelihood of psychotic event. So I'm, I'm not opposed to it, but I really think the lead, uh, and I hate doing this, needs to come from the federal government about sitting down and saying, all right, just as we would with the Moderna or anything else. Let's go through the study. Let's get blind samples and let's make sure we're doing it right, not just on a whim to think it does, but let's get the appropriate protocols and have the research and development like we've had this past year with the vaccines for COVID-19. So, uh, Leader McGarvey, I'll ask you the same question. And, and the governor, uh, a few weeks back before the end of the year, had called on the legislature to be big and bold and to pass um, medical marijuana and sports betting. So let's deal with the medical marijuana. And at 9 o'clock, around 9.30, actually, folks will hear the governor say that he believes that it should be taxed. Uh, and so I, I do want to get your perspective on medical marijuana. And is it an idea whose time has come in Kentucky? Uh, it's, it's past time for medical marijuana in Kentucky. I absolutely believe we should have it. Um, I, I'm less convinced on the tax question of it, though. I don't think we should view medical marijuana uh, itself as a revenue producer for the state. There will be some revenue that comes from allowing medicinal marijuana to be grown and cultivated and, and then given out here. But, you know, we have a, a prohibition against taxing medicine in Kentucky, and that's something I actually i am in favor of. Um, so I, I think we need to have medical marijuana here. Uh, we're prescribing people morphine. Uh, in Kentucky and, you know, severe pain pills, uh, let's prescribe marijuana. I do agree with Robert on one thing, though. I would like to see the federal government uh, go ahead and remove that Schedule One designation for medical marijuana so we can do more sophisticated and more in-depth research on it and continue to develop it uh, as medicine. But I think it's, it's time has come in Kentucky. And I'll tell you one other thing, Renee. I'd just like to see it brought for a vote. Um, mm -hmm. And if it passes on the floor of the Senate, great. If it doesn't pass on the floor of the Senate, then that says something, too. Um, but it, it's gotten the support in the House. It's gotten support of committee. It has support of our constituents. Uh, let's bring it for a vote. So we're going to see this bill again in the House, Speaker Osborne? Uh, Jason Nemus mm -hmm. has, uh, has already pre-filed the bill uh, and I know is uh, working diligently uh, to, to gain support. As you know, it passed overwhelmingly in the House last year. Um, and there is significant support uh, again. I think that uh, there's some hope that the, the Senate will take it up. Um, and, and, you know, at the end of the day, I, I think that uh, the overwhelming majority of the people in our, uh, our caucus and our, our body, our chamber, uh, are, are tired of making criminals out of sick people. Um, you know, we, we, we freely prescribe narcotics and opioids um, to excess every single day uh, with far greater consequences. And um, I, I think that there, there is compelling evidence that people are, are 
getting significant medical benefits from it. This is something that I've evolved on too. I would, be, you know, 10 years ago, I would have told you I was adamantly opposed to this, but I've, I've met with, I've talked to, I've read enough, I've studied enough now uh, to see where those, those benefits lie. And, and I think it's, it's time that we take that step. I disagree completely with the governor on taxation. We do not tax medicine in this state. It's inhumane to tax, uh, tax medicine. We made that, we made that uh, statement as tax policy um, years and years ago. Uh, it's settled debate. Uh, if we're going to talk about tech, if we really are going to consider this medicinal, which I believe we should, um, then I, I think that to discuss taxation of it is, is, is ridiculous because to, to open that debate, we would have to open the debate about taxing pharmaceuticals completely. And, and he makes the point about the regulatory framework that's needed to be uh, implemented and, and, and the, uh, the staff that would need to be and all the administrative layers uh, for that, and that, that needs to be that, supported some that, way. That was provided for in uh, Representative Nemus' bill that, uh, that he passed last year. There was a, a small fee uh, attached to um, uh, the, uh, the dispensing mm -hmm. that would cover that regulatory framework. But um, not the user uh, or the... The, the, the person who needed the medical marijuana Correct. was not taxed. Right. Right. Uh, Leader Jenkins, do you have any additional comment on this before we talk about sports betting? Well, I could, I could just say that, you know, our caucus has been uh, behind this for many, many sessions and nothing has changed in that. And we look forward to seeing the, the bill in the House. And I understand there could be a bill coming from the Senate, Leader McGarvey. Is that, leader, is that bill coming from Leader McGarvey? Well, we'll have to see, Renee. I think we, we, we could potentially see the Senate Democratic Caucus certainly propose some versions of this bill. Okay. I, I just want to say this for, for the governor, and, you know, we've talked about the work on all of us sitting and taking the shots together to show a bipartisan effort. I think you've heard the legislature have a pretty loud and clear statement. To think of this as a money generator, to tax it, if you're truly saying it is medicinal or therapeutic, is totally wrong. Because if you're taking that approach, that it's a money generator, then you're not thinking about the medicinal or therapeutic value because you're totally, as David said, treating it differently than any other drug, which in and of itself is wrong.